Hello everybody, this is David. And in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, LFSR, or Linear Feedback Shift Register. And I'm going to code one in Verilog and demonstrate it on the Basis 3 FPGA. So here is two 16-bit LFSRs. There's two different types. There's the Fibonacci and there's the Galois, Galois however you say it. But you can see the difference here, how the XORs, the logic coming back to the uh, first bit is XORed. And then for the Galois, you have the XOR um, for the feedback coming in from the previous to um, shift to the next one. And um, so you have to tap it. So let's see, let's go back. And you can see how these taps, certain, these are called taps, where the registers are tapped to go through the XORs. And so how you figure out the taps, um, I found a chart in a book. Here's just some common counter. So if you have a three bit flip flop, you need to tap two and zero for a four bit, which is what I'm gonna do. It's tapping three and zero. 8-bit, these are your taps, and 16-bit, these are your taps. So now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a 4-bit one, and I know there's a lot going on here, but here's the 4-bit LFSR, and just note that each flip-flop also has the clock and the reset going into it. Here's your actually your, your bits for your counter that you're tapping out of for each uh, flop, and um, this is the sequence that it'll go through, and the sequence is based on, you can use either an XOR or XNOR version. I'm going to do an XNOR version. And, and there's no recovery states for XOR or XNOR. So if you think about it, if we're using XOR and all of these bits are zero, it will never come out of zero, zero. Because this bit right here will be zero, this bit here will be zero, and a zero and zero will provide from an XOR a, a zero, and it'll just stay in zeros. Now, kind of the opposite for the XNOR, if you have started off with all ones, that's a no recovery state. It will never come out of 1111 with an XNOR or 0000 with an XOR. And so um, it the, the number of states you get with this is 2 to the N minus 1, where N is the number of flip-flops. So in this case, we're going to have 15 different states. So, and since this is an XNOR version, we are going to start it off at 0000, and then it'll count, it'll go through all the values up to E, and it'll never go to F, because that is the no recovery state for the XNOR. And then in comparison, a normal binary counter has two to the N states. So if you had a normal binary counter, you can count from zero to F. This can only go from zero to E. Now let me show you the code. Okay, here I am in Vivado. I've got a basis three project with target language of Verilog. Here's the module hierarchy over here. I'm using an, a one hertz generator, just like I did with the Johnson counter, just to slow it down and we can see the LFSR count. So I'll go through each module here. So starting with the LFSR itself, it's just a clock input, a reset, and then a register of those four bits. And I'm going to start it off at four bits of zero because I'm using an XNOR version. And like I said before, with the XOR, you want to start it off at all ones and then reset it to ones. So in this case, we're going to reset it to all zeros. And then we're just going to shift the three low order bits into the three high order bits. And then just like we saw in that diagram, got this XNOR right here for bit three and bit zero to determine what goes into bit zero. Here's a one hertz generator again. Um, same one I used before. Not really going to go through it, but this is to take in a 100 megahertz signal from the basis three and generate a one hertz signal. Uh, here's the top module. Got the clock, the reset. I'm using four LEDs so we can see the register of the LFS, LFSR. And um, just tying the one hertz generator to the LFSR using a wire for the one hertz. That's what will feed, will come out of here and feed into here. And the LEDs will come out. Here's the constraints file. Got the 100 megahertz clock, four LEDs, and I'm using button C for the reset. All right, now let me show you it on the board. 
All right, so here's the basis three. I'll go ahead and uh, hit reset. We'll start the counter overs, and now it's going in its sequence. Um, you can follow along from the sequence on the PowerPoint, but here you have the LFSR four bits counting on the basis three coded in Verilog. Uh, thanks for watching.